Hello and welcome back to another theme park poster video and today we are going to be doing Flamingo Land History or Theme Park History as it's called. Before the video starts, please subscribe to Theme Park Coaster if you haven't already. So Flamingo Land Resort was established in 1959 when a cinema emperor, Edwin Petten Hick, sold his cinema chain to use the funds to purchase a bankrupt country club to use the land of a zoo. The site, which occupies nine acres, when intentionally called the Yorkshire Zoological Gardens, a colony of flamingos were among the first animals to be housed on the site. In 1963, the gardens became home to the UK's first captive bottlenose dolphins. In one of one, was given the name Sooty after a children's TV puppet. During the 1960s, a small fun fair began to be held on the site. In 1965, the company was floated to the London Stock Exchange as Associate of Pleasure Parks, and in 1968, the park was renamed to Flamingo Park Zoo. In the 1970s, amusement rides had become a permanent fixture to the park along with the zoo, becoming the first site in Europe to combine the attractions in one location. The park was losing money by 1974 and underwent a major revamp where it was named Flamingo Land. More emphasis was placed on the day out experience with fairground rides, a haunted castle, water railway, and a jungle cruise raft ride on the lake. Despite more professional marketing approach that saw regular guest appearance by celebrities and stars of the day, including a racehorse red room, Flamingo Land continued to lose money. The, own, the owner, Scott e. Leisure Ltd, sold the site in 1978 to Robert Gibb, himself a former director of Scotia Le Leisure. He put a team in place to develop a complex as a national rather than local tourist attraction, including investing in amusement rides. Many staff were made redundant in the most engaged of seasonal con contracts. In 1995, Robert Gibb died in a car accident, so his son Gordon Gibb, only 18 at the time, and his two sisters, Vicky and Melanie, took up the running of the park. Over the years, Fingolon has had some great rides come and go, including the corkscrew, Magnum Force, and the Bullet, and also many more. And there's a picture of the corkscrew there. Fingolon has also got some brilliant rides, like Kamali of Vacoma SLC, were opened, were opened in 2006, and also the UK's first Vacoma Booster Bike Velocity, were opened in 2005, and has got many more great courses for the UK. There's a picture of Kamali there as well. Please subscribe to Theme Park Course if you haven't already. Don't forget to like and comment if you are new. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.